Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel is EOS San Diego, and I make a nightly video about the EOS blockchain. Um, I want to talk a little bit tonight about the biggest complaint I hear about EOS, and that's that EOS is centralized. Of course, Vitalik has made this, um, this argument, and a few other people have made it too. And of course, I want to talk a little bit about that because it's very important for people to know that EOS is not a centralized system. A lot of people compare it to the proof of work of Vitalik's Ethereum and of course Bitcoin and say, well, EOS is centralized, so that's uh, EOS is not a, uh, a true blockchain. It's not a, a true decentralized blockchain because of the centralization of 21 block producers. And they make that argument all the time. In fact, if there's one argument I hear made over and over and over again on the internet, is that EOS is centralized. And of course, uh, sometimes when people say something enough, it, they believe it, they actually believe it, and that becomes almost reality when it's really not. And of course, if you know how EOS works, you'll know that 21 block producers making blocks around the world, but those 21 block producers are being voted on every three seconds. And those 21 block producers are in and out of the 21 fairly regularly. I've seen you know, for one, for instance, Grey Mask. Grey Mask, one of the first great wallets, and of course now they've been in the 21, now they're outside the 21, at least they were tonight when I looked. So it's not automatic that people get in the 21 and they stay in the 21. So because of the, the, the every three second voting, EOS is as decentralized as the token holders want it to be. If the community becomes engaged and the community wants to vote on block producers and the community wants to act as, as far as making sure the best block producers are in those positions and those block producers are acting in the best interest of the blockchain, EOS will be decentralized as much as people want it to be. Just like in any, any country that has a voting system, the only way it works is if people vote. If people don't vote, I mean, that's been a, that's been a big slogan here in the United States for a long time. Get out and vote. People need to vote. If you don't want to vote, then you don't have a say in what, how the country is run. Uh, and that's the way EOS is run. EOS is run by voter participation. Voter participation. So voter participation makes the EOS very, very decentralized. And of course, there's a lot of things coming up. I think Dan's talked about the work proposal program. I like the work proposal program. I think I'm in the minority as far as that's concerned. A lot of people don't like the work proposal program. They think it's 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 uh, giving something for some some something for nothing. So kind of like, and I grew up with in a German family where work was the most important thing, more important than anything. Du musst arbeiten, du musst essen, which means you don't work, you don't eat. That's the way I grew up. So, but I also believe that um, it's not a bad idea to be able to bring new people into the EOS blockchain and not only not bring them in, but bring them in with some incentives. So the opportunity to bring somebody in have tokens and now have a stake in the blockchain by voting on that blockchain and being able to to bring new blood into this and bring new people into it that can can have some say in it. You know the greatest the great the, the greatest um, reward to being an owner of the Yas blockchain is being able to control who runs the Yas blockchain. And that, that that's something that's very in my mind it's it's very dear to me. It's very dear to me the fact that I have a potential stake, a potential outcome, a potential say in how this blockchain is run and who's running this blockchain. And, and of course, there's no other blockchain like it and there's no other design like it. And I think it's, 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 it's uniquely designed and very ingeniously designed. So, uh, so I think the worker proposal program as far as bringing new blood into this and having people vote is a good idea. Of course, I'm in the minority because I, uh, maybe I'm more of a, of a, people call me, a, I don't know what they call me. I think I'm a little bit of a soft heart. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not afraid to give people stuff. I'm not afraid to give people away stuff. I'm, I'm not the opinion everybody has to work to, to live. I mean, I'm not eat, work to, to, to eat. I mean, some people have better skills than other people, and I think those, and I think I said that in the previous video, that, that we're not all equal in this world, and sometimes you have to give a little to get some, something back to you. So, but anyway, that's another story, another video if you want to see it. It's, the one previous to this one. But it brings new blood into the system and it also gives the people a stake in this and gives them an outcome in it. Have, have them have an outcome in it. So anyway, EOS is not decentralized. DEOS is decentralized, it's not centralized. EOS is 
a platform that people can come into and believe that they have an actual ownership value in this. That's what it's all about. It's about ownership. And it's about being able to be involved with an ownership. So anyway, um, that's the biggest complaint I hear about EOS. I was also very happy to hear my friend Colin say that he thought EOS was going to $100 a token too. So we're looking forward to that. Um, like I say, we'll be up in San Francisco. London's over with. And we'll be doing some, we'll be giving some more information on the blockchain, on the, on the challenge app too. So anyway, like I say, the biggest thing that I want to just say tonight is that it's not a centralized blockchain. It's a decentralized blockchain. It's decentralized as people want it to be. Vote for a block producer. And of course, more block producers will be coming on very, very near, very soon. There'll be other block producers coming along. I also agree with the fact that you give the block producers more rewards that are outside the 21. So maybe in the top 100, 150, they, they receive rewards too. Obviously, top 21 need to have rewards because they keep the blockchain going, but obviously spread the rewards out among the people. Bring new people in with the Oracle Proposal Program. All this stuff will help strengthen the blockchain and keep it the blockchain that we know it's going to be, the $100 token blockchain. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.